Ian, welcome to the Great Telco Debate. Could you first of all just describe to us your role within Amazon Web Services? Sure, I've been with Amazon Web Services uh, just coming up to five years. and I work in a team for developer evangelism, which is uh, helping software developers understand how they can use AWS in the cloud to build new types of applications. That's essentially what I and my team do. We know that Amazon Web Services has been working with uh, telcos for many years. Could you describe some of the ways in which you work with those and, and perhaps give us some examples? Yeah, sure. So there are, I and mean, there's an obvious link between cloud computing and telecommunications operators. The whole delivery model for the cloud would be impossible without telecommunications because by definition the cloud is remote. So the services that you're using are not in your data center or on your site. You know, you've got to access them. So telecommunications operators play a really important role in helping customers of all types make use of AWS. Okay, so that's the first way in which we work with them. It's kind of implicit that the vast, vast majority of our customers that are using the cloud are using telcos to do so. We do work with them directly in a couple of different ways as well. The first is as customers. So telcos are substantial IT users. They use a lot of applications to run their own businesses and provide services to their customers. And they can consume AWS as a customer in that context. And they have been doing so for a long time. For example, one of the earliest adopters of our analytics service, Amazon Redshift, which is a data warehousing service that you run inside AWS, was NTT Docomo uh, a long, long time ago. So telcos have been making use of AWS to transform the way they run their businesses and the way in which they access and manipulate data for a long time. And then the second uh, common pattern is that telecommunications operators will partner with AWS to provide connectivity services. We have a specific service called Direct Connect, which enables telcos to partner with AWS and deliver bandwidth services to enable our mutual customers to access services running within the cloud. Mm -hmm. And then the third model, which is a little bit newer but still really, really significant and important, is that telcos can be partners to AWS that provide their customers with services to help their customers adopt the cloud. This is the kind of partnership that we announced with BT over the course of the last year, uh, where BT are integrating and using AWS services to provide services to their customers. You mentioned the transform word there, Ian, which of course the, the transformation of the, the tele telecom industry is a massive issue at the moment. How, how is cloud becoming the de facto means of delivering projects for telcos? So the cloud is becoming a de facto means of delivering projects for every type of IT consumer. So whether you're a small startup operating in financial services or in a telecoms associated uh, segment, or whether you're a giant multinational telecommunications operator, you depend on IT today, you depend on technology today, both to run your business, uh, but also to serve your customers directly through the provision of interfaces for customers like mobile apps or CRM, for example. And because uh, the cloud is a demonstrably better way to deliver IT with the characteristics that it has of lower cost, improved security, global footprint, and others as well, it's natural, of course, that telecommunications operators as IT consumers would choose to adopt the cloud in the same way that other types of businesses are. And that's exactly what we see today, that telcos that need to build new IT infrastructure or improve the way in which they run existing are using the cloud just like banks or manufacturers are. How, how does that impact the skill set required within the telcos and their partners? So I would say there is a general skills shortfall today in cloud computing skills in the market at a macro level, not just in uh, the UK where we're speaking today, but globally. So there is a constraint for cloud computing skills, uh, just like there is constraint for many uh, very important and strategic areas of IT today. And we're actually working at AWS in conjunction with customers and partners to produce a uh, workforce which is skilled in the right type of skills to fully exploit the cloud. So we have our own first party training. Uh, we also uh, work with third parties that might produce their curriculums independently of AWS or deliver AWS training directly to customers. But there is definitely a skill shortfall mm -hmm. within telecommunications operators, but this is not specific to telecommunications operators. This is a general skill shortfall that impacts both cloud computing but also emergent fields like artificial intelligence or uh, established fields like data science and analytics, for example. Sure. In broad terms, how do you see AWS influencing the industry going forward? So I think that uh, cloud computing services will become more broadly, more broadly adopted by telcos as we move forward. And this will actually fall into a variety of different areas, uh, areas such as IoT, where the cloud can provide a very capable, robust, and scalable backend for IoT applications. So I think there'll be synergy and interworking between telecommunications and cloud providers in the IoT space that will be really, really significant. Also think that artificial intelligence will be another important area of development. This includes 
both the application of AI by carriers to optimize things like network layout or to optimize the way in which they operate business processes, as well as much more visible examples, uh, such as situations where carriers might provide uh, contact center services, for example, that benefit and make use of intelligent agent technology within the contact center that might be backed by AI and machine learning services. So I think those are going to be the two most strategically significant areas of collaboration for telcos and cloud computing providers in the future. It's a great changing landscape. Uh, and then finally, if, I'm, if I may, uh, from your own perspective, having worked in the industry on, on many different roles, what, what do you see as being the most important technologies going forward? Again, I would say that AI and machine learning is likely to be the strategic technology area, I think, that will deliver most benefit for telecommunications operators that take advantage of the cloud. I already talked briefly about uh, the use of intelligent agent technology in the contact center environment, and we've seen the rise of voice interfaces with devices like the Amazon Echo over the course of the last few years. Who wouldn't want to have that kind of capability embedded within contact centers or made available to customers as part of a telecommunications offering that you might make to a client? So I really think that AI and machine learning is going to be incredibly important in this area in the future. Many thanks for joining us, Ian. No thanks problem. a lot. Thank you.